In the semantic pointer architecture, we use circular convolution to bind vectors in order to construct language-like representations. This network computes the circular convolution between two 10-dimensional vectors. One vector is projected out of population A, the other out of population B. They go to a subnetwork denoted here with a star, and the result of the convolution goes to population C. The subnetwork itself consists of many multiplication networks, because the circular convolution in the frequency space is the piecewise product of the vector elements of the two input vectors. When I run this simulation, we will notice that we have a new kind of graph here. We call this a semantic pointer graph. Instead of showing the value of the vector, the semantic pointer graph shows the similarity between whatever is being represented in population A and any of the valid vocabulary items for the network. If we right-click on the graph, we can see the valid vocabulary items in this instance are the letters A through E. These are five randomly selected 10-dimensional vectors. Because this is an input, we can set its value, for example, to vector D. Now when we run the network, we will see that the representation in population A is most similar to vector D. We can set the representation in population B as well. You will notice that the convolution of A times a random vector is not similar to anything in the network. However, now that we have changed the input in B to be a familiar item, so the input in B is similar to E, we can see that the output in population C is now most similar to the circular convolution of D and E, represented by this high black line. We can change one of the inputs and run the network some more. We will see that the representation in A is updated, and now the most similar vector, shown here in yellow, is between the output and the circular convolution of vectors C and E. Notably, I've been running this simulation piecewise because it is 3300 neurons and it is running on a laptop. However, we can always drag our slider back to the beginning, hit play, and see it progress in a smoother manner.